Nigeria, tears before joy. After I had worshipped for a while, singing one of our songs titled All the Time, I saw an angel send out a neatly tied scroll with a red ribbon. Then another angel took that scroll to deliver it. First, it was given to a man, but he claimed to be busy. So it was given to another person. However, this second person did not receive the scroll either. Then I saw a heavily pregnant woman walking down the street. She received the scroll when it was given to her. She opened it and read the content. After reading, she had an expression that seemed to be a mixture of pain and joy. I had an impression that this woman represented Nigeria. The scroll was written in a strange language that I could not understand. However, I had the impression that it contained the different phases that Nigeria would go through before receiving the joy of her delivery or childbirth. This was why she was shedding tears of pain and joy. I started praying that she would be able to endure the phases she would go through. The scroll then flew away from her hands and went to another pregnant woman. But this one was busy chattering. She either didn't see the scroll or was pretending to be too busy to collect it. I had an impression that this second woman represented the church. The first pregnant woman called out to the second pregnant woman to take up the scroll and read, but she paid no heed. I pray that God should help the church to receive what it has for her and understand it as well. I had an impression that this was to prevent things from occurring as surprises to her, without foreknowledge. After this, I saw another scene. In this scene, I saw a star shooting into the sky. It spread out like a wave into the atmosphere. Then it fell to the ground like airports. I saw people pick them up and put them into their ears. Muslims as well as people of other religions came to mind. I found myself saying, At the mention of your name every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Let those people called not your people be called your people. Immediately, I saw all those who had picked the earpods begin to kneel and bow down. I heard, Victory belongs to you, Lord. The Lord is calling out to his people. He's gathering his holy people at his holy mountain. He is preparing his bride, his beautiful bride. After this, I had an impression that the Lord was in my room. First, I saw the nail scars on his hands. At some point, the whole setting changed. It became dark and I became afraid. I thought that it must be a demon claiming to be an angel of light. But then I heard, do not be afraid. Fear blinds you. Then I started hearing a voice in a low tune saying, The street is mine. The street is mine. I wondered why the saying, because we had already started street evangelism. However, I saw a picture of a person prayer walking while on his way to evangelism, praying for each street as he would go through them. I heard, I'll tread where you tread. I thought it should be the other way round, that is, we should be treading where he treads. But I understood that he will move where we tread upon. Anywhere our feet go to, he will mark it. I saw our footprints in each street we went through. They remained there and started burning, like hot coals ready for an explosion. I got, you will get to understand the ripple effect of your actions and obedience. 29th October 2020, Sister D.S. Copyright, Gamwatch.